We have approximately 39,000 tons of waste going in on the landfill per year, right? And of that quantity, the, the highest amount would be organic waste, which accounts for approximately 45% of the waste going in on the waste stream. Then the next highest would be paper, which would be about 20-something, followed by plastics, which is about between 12 to 16%. And uh, that is quite a lot, considering, and that is by weight, um, considering the fact that plastics, um, it's lightweight, and for that quantity to account for between 12 to 16 percent is indeed cause for concern. We have an integrated solid waste management project which is on. Um, currently, there are seven components to this project. Um, one of the components is, of course, the construction or re reconstruction of the facility at landfill, Perseverance landfill. And uh, it is our hope that um, with the reconstruction process, um, the design that is being looked at, um, we would try to do as much as possible to divert waste from the facility. Also, as part of the project, is the siting for a new facility. And so far, it's not showing up any results looking to locate a facility that is away from population, settlements, from um, schools, from near to water sources, you know, too close to the coastal area. It is not um, showing up any results. So it would appear that we are limited to perseverance at this time. And we are trying to access um, lands in that area to see how best we can keep our operations at that facility. I think that people have a tendency to believe that um, once it concerns waste, the responsibility is just that of the Grenada Solid Waste Management Authority. And so we see that attitude of, you know, just dispose of it and we'll take care of it. But I think that people ought to think in terms of helping us. Yes, we are managers of waste, but those who generate waste, we see them as the first managers of waste. So we want persons to be a bit more conscious in terms of when they go to purchase, purchase items that would last, you know, a long time. Um, you go to those dealers that have a tendency to bring in the better products and, you know, purchase that would, things that would last as long and not end up in our waste stream too soon. And in terms of disposal, we would ask persons to please be mindful with the disposal of waste. We offer services for the disposal of the large items, um, refrigerators, doors, wash, the, you know, your bulky items, your household appliances, etc. And the service is free, so there is no need for the creation of these illegal dump sites throughout our country, right? There's no need for dumping in drains, the rivers, and so on that contribute to the flooding, the block drains, and it's coming back to haunt us when you have the flooding and damage to property and all of that.